I grew up in the projects. I fought my whole life. I done got jumped. I done jumped. I done got shot at, done shot at. I mean, and a thug is always in the ghetto and always, you know, in the streets. And that's where I'm at. I done came up, I came up in the streets. I lived in the streets. So I'm a thug. Like my real family, they probably would disown me if they knew about me. And I probably wouldn't have some of the friends that I got now out here if they knew about me. So that's why someone would want to be down though, just, just from the reaction that other people, their friends would have about it or their family would have about it. I, I don't go around certain ones in my family because they give me problems about the life I live, so I'd rather not go around them at all. I got more gay family than I do real family. In the gay community, it's, it's one big old family. It's like kind of like gang. I was just going to stop anyway, just to fill out another application. Yeah, I got your application. You don't need to fill out another application. I got it. Oh. D is my gay father. He's just always there. If I need anything, he'll call me before I can call him and ask me if I need anything. Where I was at, I probably would have ended, ended up selling dope or something. Riri. Huh? Is you paying me any attention? You should get up and fix something, bitch. Fix something to eat. You hear me? Huh? I said you should get up and fix something to eat. Huh? No, I ain't treat. I cooked last week. I cooked last week. You know you didn't. I cooked fish two days in a row, remember? I went to jail and he bonded me out. He paid $300 to get me out of jail. And he took me to get my license. He got me a car and told me I couldn't drive until I got my license reinstated. And then um, he's supposed to be getting me a job. I should have an interview like Monday or Tuesday this week coming. He's just been there, like, you know, the father I never had because I never knew my real father. Okay. All right, bitch. Pour me a drink. I know. Pour me a drink. Yes, it is. We got some tango right. Oh, yeah, Pour that's me a the drink. From last night. Uh -huh. Just a little bit. I think we got some Kool Aid. Yep, sure do. We'll get you right together. This is going to be a terrible drink. Okay, come on, let's go because I got to eat this time. As long as they don't start trying to move people up in this motherfucker talk about like this is a surreal life and shit. Yeah. And we all live up on the same roof because I go home, y'all. I, right? I can't deal with this shit seven days. Juvie, a week. um, high drunk. Juvie, you got any cigarettes? I can't wake up to a man every day. It's not. It's not me. I'd rather wake up seeing that sweet, pretty face than a hard, raunchy face. I don't do the, the tough guys, the hard guys, or the soft ones. It's just, it's more like drag queen, film queen, like, like that. If I, I see a drag queen or a film queen, and I'll be like, you know, just if it's, as if it was a woman, I'll be like, whoa, you know, like, like I like that, I'm about to talk to her. It's, it's almost natural to me, to the point where I can't explain it. It's like I was just born like this. Every city has a hot spot for the DL scene. Basically, it's always the downtown area. And that's where the DL scene is here in Cleveland, from Public Square to Prospect on around. That is the, the horse draw for males. What you see cruising in downtown is Looking for the DL men or white guys. 
Because a black person basically ain't gonna pay for sex. Black guys are in it for the hustle. And a lot of DL guys are DL guys that are from penitentiary because that's where it's learned at. I was imprisoned for seven years of my life, um, from the age of 20 to 27. That's where I first experienced the DL, what they call the DL. Guys who I've been involved with come from prison. That's where guys are more or less turned out to being sexual with other guys. Just about every guy in this stack of pictures I had sex with. I had to count one day, you know, go through the pictures and put a name with them. And it was kind of bad, the total of people. And these are the guys that come home to their wives and their families and, no, I never messed around. I didn't play that. This picture here is a picture of Duro. <laughs> just believe it or not, I just ran into him a couple weeks ago. He was with his wife and kids. So that goes to show you DL lifestyles. <laughs> this is Willis. I don't know why. I was attracted to guys doing life. I guess the one that, that really stands out to me or is really a memory to me is a young man named Kevin. We were together um, two years. He's doing double life um, for a murder. Um, he has children, he has a wife. And this picture here is from Kevin. He reads to my queen. The one person in this world that I've been able to share some first-time experiences with, and I will forever be faithful and loyal to you. To me, this photo represents how loyal I can be. Stay focused, baby. You're a king. <laughs> that was nice. And this one reads from Kevin to Tanika. Always praying for the day to come that I can be in your physical presence. Love, Kevin. Um, this is me here. I had long hair. I wore makeup. I'm female on the garments. I sold myself in prison. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not no saint. But I did what I had to do to survive. And if it took me to have sex with the officer, you know, I did. I was with guys for money, which is cigarettes or cash money, or for drugs or whatever reason. Deal don't stop <laughs> on the streets. It's in jail too. I guess Tony was about maybe 18 or 19 before I actually knew what was going on with him. My mother knew that he was gay before I did, because I was in the penitentiary. And when I found out, it hurt me so bad. And I had to think that's my son. And so I love him. I love him no matter what. But see, when he was dressed in a drag, he was dating all different kind of people. Now, George is the only first study guy that I've ever met that Antonia has affiliated herself with. Yeah, she got a friend. George seemed to me just clean-cut guy, you know, kind of square-like. But I like the George. Okay, I can do that too. You always got the luck with the girls, huh? Always. <laughs> All right, Molly. Well, we